Hi everyone. Uh, first of all, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you for all of the support and lovely tweets and messages that I received on my first IBS vlog, which was kind of just a introduction to my story and how shit it can be to have and how it's a constant battle that I'm still working on. Um, it means the world to me and it makes filming the second vlog a little bit easier. Today what I wanted to talk about was the eight things I swear by to handle my IBS. And I am by no means an expert but I am a girl who's had IBS for over 11 years and it's kind of got some tricks and tips up her sleeve that I just figured why not share. First up, I take probiotics on a daily basis, um, and I actually use Simprove. Um, so every morning I get my Simprove out of the fridge, I take a, a capful, which is about 60 mils, um, I take it first thing in the morning, I leave it kind of 15-20 minutes kind of settled to work its way down to my digestive system, and then I have my breakfast. And I find that Simprove kind of just readies my body for any other food that I'm about to eat or drink. I was on it for 12 weeks and I've actually continued taking it beyond those 12 weeks because I'm kind of scared to stop because um, I know that this is working for me right now so this is kind of my miracle product. The second thing I swear by with my IBS is peppermint tea. Um, I don't think you'll find one person with IBS who doesn't swear by peppermint tea. Um, we have a massive jar and a massive collection because both myself and my boyfriend Al um, have tummy troubles. And peppermint tea is kind of the perfect remedy. You can, once you start drinking it, well first off the smell of menthol is just really calming and relaxing so that's a winner. Um, I'm not a particular fan of the taste if I'm honest, I'm not really a fan of hot drinks unless it's hot chocolate, <sighs> you know, it's not always the best. But when I do drink the peppermint tea I, I can instantly feel it like going, working its way down through my body, kind of getting into my stomach and it's, it's kind of like a, like a healing. Like someone's gone into my stomach and just given it like a gentle rub, like you know it's going to be better, we're going to get through this together. Um, so I have peppermint every morning when I get into work. Um, if I have kind of a stomach cramp or a pain or I feel a bit bloated, a bit ugh, uh, peppermint tea is a must have. So another item that I think every, every person that suffers from IBS will swear by is a hot water bottle. Um, I just can't sleep with that one. I find that even if I've not got the pains or the bloats or the cramps or the general feeling of uncomfiness, like I just I just like a hot water bottle. It's like an extra little hug, right? Um, the one I've got is this one. It's a fox. It's bloody brilliant. Um, it's got those beads in the tummy that you whack in the microwave for a couple of minutes, put it back in, and they're scented like lavender. So again. Not only is it comfortable, it smells nice, and I'm not going to burn my stomach because it doesn't get that hot, but it does the trick. I find that I suffer from quite bad anxiety with my IBS, and they're kind of a nightmare together. If I can feel my IBS starting to flare up, I'll get anxious, which then makes it worse, you know, it's led to kind of anxiety attacks before, and a real sense of worrying. Um, I'm a natural worrier anyway. Um, so I find that any kind of relaxation technique is a big, big thing for me. I uh, have the Headspace app. I use this um, in the evening, so when I'm lying in bed, I've just got into bed, I'll put Headspace on for a 10 minute session and I'll just relax and kind of try to let everything go and get everything out of my body and my mind, clear my mind, do some deep breathing exercises and just zen. Because the more stressed and worked up I get, the worse the anxiety gets, the worse the IBS gets. It's a never-ending circle of pain. What I've also found helps is that if I'm at work and the situation's getting a bit much for me, or I've got too much on, or I've eaten something and I shouldn't have and it's having a reaction, I'll take myself away from my desk for five minutes, I'll go into the loo, lock myself in a cubicle, just do some deep breaths and I like doing four in and then holding for four, four out, holding for four and I find that if I keep doing that and I repeat it and I get into a pattern it, it just instantly soothes me because sometimes that's what you need. What you might have gathered by now is that I'm a massive fan of peppermint smells, lavender smells and that leads me nicely onto my This Works products. Um, so I have two things from their range. I have the Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. 
um, and this is just I mean it's it's dreamy um, it's a mixture of lavender uh, vetiver which I don't think I'm saying properly and uh, chamomile which together it's just bliss it puts it on my pillow, it puts it on Al's pillow, and this literally knocks me out within seconds. And what I also love is they have um, like a little rollerball. Uh, again, same kind of sense and same kind of vibe. And what I do is I keep this in my handbag so that if I'm feeling a bit anxious or a bit stressed or I'm going on a flight or I'm going on a journey and I don't know where the nearest loo is going to be, um, I roll a, this onto my wrist, take some, take some deep breaths and immediately... Oh dear, just, hmm. Another thing I swear by to kind of keep my IBS at bay is exercise. Um, not full on exercise, I'm not a gym bunny. People in gyms kind of scare me a little bit, it's quite intimidating. Um, I play netball and I go to Zumba with my mum which is just hysterical. She's all arms and legs, it's brilliant to watch. Um, and I find that sometimes, I know that when you have cramps and when you're in pain, the last thing you want to do is exercise, but actually some kind of gentle stretching really does help ease your stomach and also it takes your mind off it, which sometimes when you're so caught up in an IBS bout that you forget and then you kind of, your mind goes into overdrive, it makes it worse, it's like looping again, it's a nightmare. So exercise is definitely something that helps me. Um, and what I actually really want to start is, is getting more into yoga and the stretching of the body because I think that that um, headspace and meditation will really work wonders for me, I'm hoping. The main thing that I do to help my IBS is just give dairy and lactose a swerve. I mean, I know that they're my main triggers, so cream, cheese, uh, milk, they're the worst, milk chocolate, which... I'm just still too bitter to talk about really. Cut all of those things out and instead I've been looking for replacements so that I you know, I can still have cereal with milk on and can still have a bit of butter on my toast. What I use and have been drinking for years and years is Arla lacto-free milk. Um, I don't think you can tell the difference. We don't have any actual milk in the house anymore so when people come around for tea and coffee they get this in their drinks and I don't ever tell them it's lacto-free, just pop it in, nobody says anything so I don't think it tastes uh, different at all. And I've also recently been using um, this pure dairy-free spread, um, it's made from sunflower oil so it's just a bit better for me than butter because I was eating butter but I don't think it's brilliant but then I don't have large quantities anyway. So I swear by dairy-free products. Yeah. I am a massive sleep lover. I need eight hours a night to function like a normal human being. Um, I'm quite a heavy sleeper, so once I, once my head hits the pillow, pretty much out for the count. Um, but what I do find is that when I do have a, a bad bout of IBS, it literally sucks all of the energy out of my body and my soul. Um, so sleep is massively, massively important for me. And obviously I take my hot water bottle with me, I use my sleep spray, I'll have a, a drink of peppermint tea beforehand. And I also rely on my trusty eye mask and I should apologize in advance because it does say something rather offensive on the front. Uh, but this is just a reminder to Al, leave me alone, let me sleep. And there you have it. Those are the things that I swear by to keep my gut happy. Uh, once again, thank you so much for all of your support. It honestly makes bearing my soul and my IBS story just so worthwhile. Um, if you've got any questions about IBS or tips and tricks or anything like that, tweet me them at Joe's Clothes, drop them in the comments below, um, and we'll see where we go next time. Thanks and goodbye.